Time to shower, get some food, and do some So it was all about learning about dissecting cows, triangle. Going through your preclinical years, you really don't know a lot about the clinical management. The sacrifices we make. My man here is on Gen Med. Nice little sunrise here. Sun's just peeking out. Good morning. Gorgeous day. Let's head to the hospital. Just had a quick bite. Now I'm on my way to vascular outpatients department. So I'm thinking I'm gonna see everything from triple A's to peripheral vascular disease, acute limb ischemia, ulcers, all that kind of stuff. I'll keep you updated and see how it goes. Headed to the operating theater. Let's see what we've got today. Just got into the theater. Um, super cool. We saw a few laparoscopic cholecystectomies today. So it was all about learning about dissecting callus triangle, which is your cystic artery, your cystic duct, and your common hepatic duct. Um, they also did an intraoperative cholangiogram where they went through the um, cystic duct to visualize um, the flow. So super cool. Stay tuned for some more updates, everyone. Hey guys, just finished that clinic. I wanted to include in this vlog just a little recap, some of my thoughts, some of my reflections on being on surgery so far. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say is I have such an appreciation for what surgeons do. Uh, it's truly incredible some of the operations that I've got to see. Um, I've even got to see some robotic cases, uh, which is truly fascinating. But I think kind of diving into surgery has shown me and reminded me that as a med student going through your preclinical years, you really don't know a lot about the clinical management and you know pre-op evaluation, post-op evaluation, all that goes into that. Considering whether a patient is suitable um, for a particular surgery, weighing out the pros and cons of you know surgical management versus maybe you know pharmacological or conservative management. There's so much that goes into it, even on the ward rounds, uh, learning all about drain outputs and nasogastric feeds and nasojejunal feeds and percutaneous uh, uh, drains. There's just so many new terms, um, so much more to learn about the management of patients post-op. Uh, it, it's really, really cool uh, to see. I'm learning so, so much. Uh, there's just so much content to learn, but um, it's been such a great journey. I love the team that I'm on. So I'm on Hepatobiliary uh, at the moment, and the whole team has been so nice, so friendly. Uh, definitely getting used to long days. I have to be at the wards, um, by you know 6:45 every day for ward rounds, and then that's followed by either clinic or theater for the day, uh, depending on what list we have. Just thought I'd kind of give a little bit of a reflection on how it's been going. I still am not decided on the specialty I want to pursue. I'm fascinated by surgery. I can see myself doing it. It's just I know that the road to get there and the training and the amount of years is steep. Um, and so it's definitely something that I would need to think about before kind of fully pursuing it with everything I have. Because of course I am passionate about social media. I am passionate about my educational business and, and you know, helping educate and, and provide resources for students. So it's gonna be a decision at some point, but for now, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to learn and go through surgery. Um, so yeah, that's a little recap. I'm going to grab a bite to eat soon and then head home because we are at the end of the day. But hope you guys enjoyed my little recap on surgery. It's a Saturday night and I find myself at the gym. Being on surgery, I've definitely had less time during the week to get to the gym. So if that means going on a Saturday night, that means going on a Saturday night. So I'll show you a little bit of my workout. Today I'm doing legs. That's it. Let's go get some food. 
Look how pretty that is. That's a little reminder, everyone. Even in a crazy surgery rotation, you can find 45 minutes, get some daylight, get some exercise, keep your mind and body active and healthy. Let's get back to this run. That's it, everyone. I'm out of breath. Um, time to shower, get some food, and do some walking. So I just got home, and look what I got to open up. Guys, my USMLE Pharmacology flashcard set. This is just the prototype I received. We are so close to it being ready for you guys. Just check out all of the tabs. So we've separated it based on system, as you can see here. And how about I just pull out some to give you an idea. So as you can see here, we have a fun caricature on the card with all the information you know on the back and the respective mnemonics. And how about we pull out a neurology one to show you. Carbidopa, stop, L-dopa cannot come through to help you remember that it prevents the conversion of L-dopa into dopamine. Guys, I am so excited. This is so close to being ready for you all. Stay tuned, coming soon. The sacrifices we make. My man here is on gen med. And I'm on surgery. Really trying to catch up with poor posture, huh? And it's towards getting to the wards of the later parts of the evening. And what are we doing? We are combining the power of first aid and pathoma into the ultimate guide of pathology and immunity, aren't we? And here's a little sneak peek while we listen to some random house techno music. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys. <laughs>